yeah, Jake Fromm made the roster, which is my biggest WTF because um, <laughs> I was not, I'm not happy about it. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't want him. I, I mentioned earlier, one of my favorite draft prospects in this entire draft, Harrison Hand, was drafted two picks after Jake Fromm in the fifth round by the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, and he made the Minnesota Vikings roster, and Jake Fromm has looked like absolute doo-doo in camp. And it honestly seems to me like the Buffalo Bills are only keeping Jake Fromm because, like, COVID kind of threw a whole wrench in their offseason. And despite the fact that Jake Fromm looked really bad, they kept him because they want to sort of give him a redo next year. Like, they just want to be like, all right, yeah. we're just going to throw this year out the window. We're going to give him a redo next year. He'll get all the OTAs. He'll get a full training camp. He'll get a full year on this roster behind Josh Allen and Matt Barkley. COVID is a thing. It exists. He's there in case of emergencies. He played some big games at Georgia. That, to me, seems uh, the reason why. But it's definitely a shocker to me because the Buffalo Bills seem like they're in win-now mode, especially with some of the moves that they made. Um, they're definitely going with some veterans over youth. So it really surprised me that they're wasting a roster spot on Jake Fromm. Yeah, I agree. Like we haven't heard anything good about him. And my question for you, Judge, is could we have not maybe stored him on the practice squad and had for next year? Are we I mean yeah. that's it, that's it a, seem like a big worry. That's the thing. Like you gotta know, like like we as fans are like, yeah, we can throw him on the practice squad. And you can look at statistical data like, oh yeah, only thirteen percent of players who were waived last year got picked up by another team. But oh, Trey White got extended. That's nice. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby, you need to hit us wow. with the details. Bobby with the uh, breaking news. Bobby with the breaking news. Um, but the way you got to think about it, the way you got to think about it is Brandon Bean is pretty well connected in the National Football League. He must have known that someone would pick him up if he's going to keep him on the active roster. See True. what I'm. I believe it. What I'm most upset about when it comes to the quarterback position right now is I just don't see a need for three quarterbacks to keep three guys on that 53 man roster. I think for me, it, it would either be Barkley or Fromm. I don't honestly, I think both of them, they're similar type quarterbacks. I think Barkley or Fromm, I think that would have been a, a good move, either one of them, but I don't like both of them. I think that's taking away another roster spot, um, mm -hmm. you know, from another position where we might need more depth at. And um, so I'm, I, I'm most upset about that. Um, again, you said from has sucked at camp. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not at camp, so I don't know. I know you're at camp watching the, watching everything. Um, but, you know, I think two guys is enough at quarterback. That's yeah. all you need. Josh Allen's not going to get hurt anytime soon. And then the guy below Josh Allen's not going to get hurt anytime soon. Yeah. You don't need three. Lady uh, knock Lady on wood. Lady, uh, Lady Ciccone ENT, um, great name there, says, Jake from Football IQ is great, just not translating on the field. And that be, might be another thing, too. The Bills might say say to themselves, like, Jake Fromm, we love we love your what you got between the years as a football player. We think that you have some talent to develop there. We like that. Maybe you're, you're Matt Barkley. You're the Matt Barkley next year. But we need you to spend this season as our number three quarterback, following these guys around. And we need you to bulk up and get stronger as a football player. And, hey, we have this world-class gym to go do it. So you're going to be living with our personal trainer this year, and we're going to bulk you up. What was it? Was it? Was it? Was it uh, is it that Ben Stiller line in uh, in uh, heavyweights? Dodgeball? Is, oh. Uh, is it dodgeball? Is it heavyweights? So, or is it I Schwarzenegger? It's like, I'm going to bulk, lost. I don't bulk know. you up. Like, so maybe they just want to, to bulk him up. But, yeah. I'm – I'm hoping, like, let's say for some reason, since Max just jinxed, jinxed us, let's say Allen does go down fine, and Barkley goes down and then uh, Fromm does have to go in, maybe we can get, like, a quick, like, Skype shot of uh, Jake Fromm's mom watching from, like, poolside. And uh, maybe I'm we sure get a quick shot from that. If he plays in the Raiders game, I think Brett Musburger would appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I think he would. I see the guy who loves... Uh, Complimenting the women in the crowd. AJ McCarron's girlfriend, girlfriend. And, and, and mom. And now so, wife. Yeah. Oh, his mom too. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. He's definitely a Pornhub guy because he can get all, <laughs> all those kind of things on uh, on the Pornhub. But uh, anyway, <laughs> Trey, speaking of Pornhub, apparently Trey Way has a massive <laughs> new contract. So what is, is, do we know Ford, yet? We do not have the numbers, but it is a massive new deal. My guess is he's probably going to set the market. My goodness. Uh, so a big deal for Tredavious White. 
Um, I'm going to be scrolling Twitter throughout this whole show to see if we can get those contracts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do you do that. We'll talk more about, uh, you know, the roster. <laughs> I, are, are we done on quarterback? Can we move on to something else? I think we're else? done. I think we're done. I would we're like, done. About- I'd like to pick the next one based on the comments. Uh, and Steve, I'm going to need you to kind of let some people down. A lot of, and, and this kind of got me at first, Steve, and you had to mm-hmm. let me know what the plan probably was. But Andre Roberts was listed as a cut, which mm-hmm. I was surprised. But you quickly said it's he's going to be back like tomorrow. He, they're just mm-hmm. fr- freeing up a space for IR. So yeah. I'm, I'm okay with Andre Roberts. I am fine with giving up one roster spot for a good uh, kick and punt return guy. Some of you are not, but I am. Uh, some people in the comments thought, you know, are seem like they're happy that he's gone. But uh, Steve, why don't you go ahead and talk yeah, about that it, one? Jacob Ander says it's a four year extension for Trey White, which I think is good for Trey White because he's going to be able to get a second contract on top of that. So not only is he getting paid now, he'll be getting uh, paid uh, a lot of uh, a lot of money in four years as well. Got a comment that says the Schwarzenegger quote was from Saturday Night Live where he said he was going to pump people up. So thank you. I knew it was from something. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, the Andre Roberts, the Andre Roberts deal. Yeah, Andre Roberts and Dean Marlowe are both going to be brought back. So this is the thing where they don't want to guarantee the full contract. They want to cut the contracts. John Feliciano is the one guy going on IR tomorrow. And the new IR rules in the National Football League means you only have to be on IR for three weeks. So it's kind of almost like sort of like a Major League really? Baseball type of deal. So John Feliciano could likely be back by the fourth week. Feli- he probably won't be because Feliciano has said himself, I'm going to be back by the Raiders game which Brandon Bean said, eh, that's just John Feliciano being John Feliciano. So my guess is you're probably going to see John Feliciano somewhere around, um, you know, mid-season. But Andre Roberts will be back tomorrow, and Dean Marlowe will be back tomorrow. So Roberts is likely going to take that John Feliciano place. We'll have nine offensive linemen instead of ten. Evan Bain could possibly come back tomorrow to give to put us back at that tenth offensive line spot. But then Dean Marlowe has come back. So you got to think to yourself, like, where is where where's Dean Marlowe gonna gonna go? Who's Dean Marlowe gonna replace? Delshawn Phillips, and we go with five linebackers. Is are we gonna maybe cut one of these offensive linemen after the all the teams have picked the 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 waiver wire clean and are done? Do we wave one of these linemen? Um, do we maybe try to sneak Hodgins onto the practice squad later? Um, there's a you know TJ Yeldon later. Like who is who is Dean Marlowe going to replace? It could be something as simple as like Josh Norman or Levi Wallace's hamstrings aren't healed. And one of them's going on that three week IR and we back like a month into the season. So it'll be really interesting to see how those moves shake out tomorrow, but Roberts and Marlowe will be back for sure. Yeah. Uh, Marlowe will always be back because I'm pretty sure he lives in Sean McDermott's basement. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I think he's going to be back regardless. Yeah. That's interesting. I, I didn't know that, that, what is the strategy really behind cutting these guys, Roberts, Marlowe, and then having them return later if you're just so, going to cut other guys? The strategy for one of them, the strategy for one of them is my guess is the strategy behind the strategy behind Andre Roberts is his contract is not, or I'm sorry, is he's a vested veteran, which means when they cut him, he doesn't have to go through waivers. So they can literally walk up to Andre Roberts and say, Andre, hey, Andre, we're going to cut you, but we're going to bring you back tomorrow. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And he's like, okay, because they have to put John Feliciano on IR. If John Feliciano goes on IR today, he's officially out for the season. You have to carry any injured player onto your initial 53 man in order to designate them to return from injured reserve. Patrick DeMarco is not coming back this year. Like he cannot be designated to return because he was placed on IR before the regular season. So that is at least one of the reasons the Dean Marlowe thing is my guess is the bills didn't want to guarantee him money. So they probably said, Hey Dean, we're going to cut you. Um, you know, we're going to cut you. So we'll bring you back um, tomorrow, but we're just not going to guarantee any of your contract. Is that all right? And he's like, I'd rather be doing that than sitting at home. So that's probably the, the Dean Marlowe deal in terms of the guaranteed money and stuff like that. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Let's get into, uh, yeah. should we get into I mean, we want to talk about Trey White a little bit here. I mean, four so, years. I four years. Four years. Twenty-one million is is uh, what I'm seeing from uh, the uh, is what I'm seeing from the excuse me uh, 
It's what I'm seeing from the comment section. So that would be <laughs> what 20 to 20, 40, 60, 80, four years, 84 million, uh, highest paid corner in the national football league. It's a lot of money, but uh, I think he's worth it. If he can continue to play at the, the level he's playing at, I think the, the biggest issue or the biggest concern you have is that he relegates back to the mean. And instead of being a top two or three corner, he turns into a top 10 corner, but you're always going to have to set the market whenever you sign a new cornerback exactly. as good as, as good as Trey white. So it'll be a bargain in a couple of years and he'll be having to sign a new contract in four years. Yeah. Um, you know, you definitely, you want to set the market obviously. And, you know, I, we knew it was coming. We knew Trey white was going to get extended at some point in time and, and why not do it now? And, um, yeah, you're right. And, you know, that's a lot of money, but he's worth every damn penny. All right. You know, he's been a stud on the field year in and year out. And, uh, you know, he's got the right energy for this organization. So it was coming and I'm glad it came now. So uh, trade day, it's a new trade day. 